Hi class, um, I wanted to show you one of the really cool functions in Google Doc, which is how to apply a template. Now, as you'll notice, there are only three things that your document has to have, and that's because this template one is so broad that I think that you're really going to be able to do a lot with it. When you go up to help, and you just do a search, this is how I always find it. I just type in template and then select new document from template. And this is going to open up a whole bunch of different templates in Google Docs that people have already saved. So you can see that there are some just from Fayette County Schools. You have a list called templates that I've used, my templates, which are templates that you've created, and then public templates. So I'm going to come back here to public templates. And you can sort by a whole bunch of different types of templates, just like you could in Publisher or in Word or anything else. So you've got documents, spreadsheet, presentation forms, and drawings. We're obviously looking in documents. Then you can also sort by the most users or the highest ratings. You can narrow it down by category over here on the side. Um, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to search up here at the top. So I'm searching documents. I'm going to look for a newsletter. Search templates. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to sort by the highest rating just so I get the best ones up at the top. And as you see, you can scroll down and you'll see that there's a whole bunch of different newsletter templates that you can choose from. And there are two that I like. I like this one. And you can click preview. Or you can come back here. I also like... Um, there's a baseball one that's cute. This little baseball one is cute. So I'll hit preview there. Now you're going to see that everything is written in Latin. That's just placeholders. And you'll go in and change that. You can put a picture up here. I'm going to look at this newsletter right here and I'm going to use this template because I think that it's nice and pretty and engaging. And to use that I'm just going to come up here to the top and click use this template. And basically what it's going to do is make a copy of this document. Okay, now you'll see that I am in my drive. It's copy of newsletter 2. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call it test. Okay, now this is in my drive and I can just come in here and click on anything and change it however I want to. These are just text boxes. So I'm just typing over these however I want to. So your first assignment is to go in and to find a template for whatever it is that you want and apply it to a document. And then you're going to go in and um, edit from there, but make sure that it is something that you can use in your class.